Technique number seven, four M's. Given the importance of objectives and bringing focus, discipline, and measurability to a lesson, it's important to think about what makes an objective useful and effective. It is vital to design effective objectives. In order to do so, you need to use a criteria-based method. The following four steps are necessary to determine if your objective is effective. There are four criterias. The four M's are manageable, measurable, made first, and most important. The first criteria, is it manageable? An objective can't be effective if you can't teach it in a single lesson. Of course you want your students to master larger skills, but this can take weeks, so you need to break them up into steps your students can master in one period of time. Criteria two, it is measurable. Effective objectives can be measured. In my classroom, this is most often done at the end of the period. I have students line up at the back of the classroom to perform an exit ticket, which is a short activity or question students complete to show they learn the material before they can leave my classroom. Criteria three, it is made first. An objective should guide the activities you use in the lesson and not simply be an afterthought. When you are lesson planning, which comes first, the objective or the activities? Criteria four, it is most important. The question I ask myself when using this criteria is, is this the best use of my student's time or the easiest use of my time? You have to choose an objective based on what is most important for students on their path to mastery, not what is most easy on your path to the end of the day. There are a number of questions you can ask yourself to make sure you're on the path to creating an effective objective. Ask yourself, is this realistic? Is this an objective or a standard? We need to be able to complete the task, this objective, in one lesson period. If your students are unable to master this material in one lesson, you need to cut down on the objectives. Ask yourself, can this actually get done in my class? Is there the institutional knowledge and know-how in your students to proceed at this rapid a rate, at this speed in the curriculum? Ask yourself, is this an objective or an activity? If it's an activity, what's the purpose? Is it helping you to achieve your objective? Ask yourself, is this the best way to help my students understand? If so, great. If not, if it's not the most important and the most effective way of reaching your objective, of reinforcing their understanding, get rid of it. Objective-based lessons lead to mastery. And this is not just mastery of content for students, but mastery of planning and implementation for the teachers. As always, if you like the video, you can find this one and many others on my Facebook page, Kaizen Teaching. Have a great day.